Yeah, so thank you very much. I'm uh, very honored to be here today. I uh, didn't really expect to be here a few, min a few months ago. I uh, accidentally ran into an old friend of mine from primary school, so quite a long time ago. And uh, he asked me if I would like to join his startup, Amber. And I, of course, immediately said yes, because not only is working at a startup kind of like a dream for me, um, but also this specific startup is going to change the future. And it's going to change the future of mobility, to be exact. Um, it's going to disrupt the automotive industry, or it wants to disrupt the automotive industry. And it's going to compete against giants like Tesla and Daimler and Uber. And uh, the automotive industry is one of the largest industries in the world. Only in 2016, last year, 72 million cars were produced. So it's a large industry. But on the other hand, it's also one of the most polluting industries. So, and we know that. So that's why we're, also, uh, we're already creating uh, hybrids and electric cars and so on. But let me ask you the question. Which one of these cars do you think produces the least amount of CO2? Raise your hands for the Tesla. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's, a, <laughs> it's a trick question, yes. Uh, it's neither, the answer. Uh, they're both producing the same amount of CO2. So, and it's because the Tesla, um, it, uses, it uses electricity, of course, but it uses it, this electricity very inefficiently, and that's why it produces the same amount of CO2. So Tesla is well on its way, but we have still, we've still got a long way to go, which is why a few of our founders, our Amber founders, they created a, a car of their own during the TU Ecomotive project, and they built the, uh, the ISA and the Nova. And the ISA, for example, is uh, still the most sustainable car in the Netherlands, and it is 10 times as efficient as the Tesla Model S I just showed you. So if you would recalculate the use of this car into fu fossil fuel use, you would run one in 400 kilometers. So that's quite a big change. But it is definitely not enough to make uh, the automotive industry that much more sustainable. It's not going, not going to be the groundbreaker, because all these cars, all these 72 million cars that were produced only last year, they also have to be produced. And for the production, you need uh, to dig out rocks off the ground. You need to extract metals from these rocks. You have to create parts of that and all other parts, such as uh, rubber tires and uh, plastic dashboards and paints and so on. They also need to be produced. And everything has to be transported all over the world into a factory in which they have to be assembled, also using energy. So in the end, um, producing a car creates just the same amount of CO2 as driving one. So it's a large part of the problem, which is why we need to reduce the total amount of uh, pr produced cars, or need to create uh, less demand for cars. But how are you going to do so? It's actually quite simple to answer, because look around you outside, there's cars doing nothing everywhere. Cars, on average, are doing nothing 23 hours of the day. Um, and even during car peaks, during uh, the rush hours, uh, only 2 million of the 8 million cars we have in the Netherlands are being used. So they're used very inefficiently. So what if we could just, just use these cars more efficiently? You would no longer need 75% of these cars. And that is going to make an impact on the automotive industry. And it's also exactly what Amber is going to do. Amber is going to facilitate a way to use cars more efficiently. And it's going to do so by providing you with on-demand electric guaranteed mobility, which means you can get access to a car by our app. You just say, I need a car right now. And we guarantee that there will always be a car for you ready within walking distance. So it's really like having your own car, because you can just pick it whenever you want to and drive off whenever, wherever you like to. So it's really like our ownership. Uh, but on the other hand, you're sharing it. And through our platform, uh, we gather data and we use algorithms to predict how many cars we need to actually guarantee everybody uh, of this mobility. And we found that we can provide eight people of guaranteed mobility only using one car. So that's a reduction of five cars. Um, so on one hand, you have uh, these, this reduction of cars, and on the other hand, you have um, you sharing the car, but actually just it is like owning a car. Um, so this is the future. This is the car sharing future. Um, and we are going to offer this to you as a user for 33 euros per week. That's right, 33 euros per week is all you pay. You don't have to do anything else. So we think this is the future, the car sharing future. But for these shared cars, you have to have a special car. Because these cars, they're going to be used a lot. Because they're shared. So you have to have a car that is lightweight, long range, and highway capable. But especially, it has to have a lifespan of one and a half million kilometers. Which sounds like crazy much, one and a half million kilometers. But if you think about it, 
buses, trains, airplanes. They're already doing this for years. So it's possible. So why don't we do it? Why in, in the consumer cars? Because cars, they're built to be owned and not to be used. There's just no profit to be made of a car that lasts one and a half million kilometers. You can't sell this. It's not a business model. So we need to make this car for our own. That the car that does last this one and a half million kilometers. Because such a car does not exist. And uh, with the lifespan of one and a half million kilometers, we can reduce the cost price per kilometer by 40%. And that is exactly what we need, because for us, <laughs> we sell kilometers. We don't sell a car. We sell a, sh sell a sharing service, and we sell kilometers. For so for us, it's better. And this way, you create a sustainable business model, or actually being sustainable for us is more profitable. And that's a, a shift you need in the, or we think you need in the automotive industry to make it very, very sustainable, to make it more sustainable. It's a quite a big change in your, the mind shift of the automotive industry. So that is what we need. So, in conclusion, what Amber is going to do is Amber is going to um, combine this shared, yeah, shared future of cars with a car that is actually going to make this happen because it has the long lifespan and it has the specifications with a platform that is making it as convenient as possible and as cheap as possible, so that the user will also be using it. So that way, we will reduce the uh, total amount of produced car by 75% and making a huge impact on the, the, the environment. But most of all, we're going to change the way people see and use mobility. Thank you very much.